Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. In today's video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to organize a WordPress website into categories. Let me show you what I mean first of all. This is an example page. Is Redbubble legit? And I've recently just changed this so it just says Redbubble questions. And the idea is to answer Redbubble questions on different pages okay so this uses the page system on Redbubble if I open this page here you'll see that the URL is Redbubble questions this is the parent page okay so if you really want to organize it you can put the parent pages here so let's write parent pages and then you can put all of the pages that you're going to put here if you want to make a full content plan. I'm just going to do the parent pages today uh, because I'm just preparing my website for uh, some future video content. So I need to think about what I want to answer questions about. So Merch by Amazon, we'll stick that on there. We'll stick Zazzle on there. This, this is the beautiful thing about SEO. Once you've got a niche, making money online, SEO like I can just answer questions on all of these and I can build traffic that way and I'm going to be writing all of the content using Jarvis but today's video is just going to be focusing on making my parent pages okay so these are going to be my parent pages um, let's just go ahead and make them so you want to go to pages in WordPress and just press add new and then every time you just want to copy and paste here so I'll add questions here and I'll do that and then that will automatically create uh, c create the URL slug that we want and then all you have to do is click publish and then every time you um, create an article about Merch by Amazon you would post it here and then we'll do Zazzle questions okay exactly the same process again just go here I guess I don't know how I even got to this page but there you go publish publish and then you can always go back and work on the SEO um, for each of these pages this is just um, basically with SEO you, it's like j life in general I've realized is like you have to register your interest in things so by creating these pages I'm registering my interest in ranking in the future for these pages okay so it would be really really good to have a base of content on my own website okay I think that's really really important and I'm definitely going to make a video about why I think having your own website is such an advantage. But for now, let's just focus on creating these categories. I'll just make the rest of these categories very quickly. Okay, so that is all of the uh, parent pages added. I would now, what I would recommend you do now is you press edit here and you write some content here. I'm not going to do this now. I'll do this another time. But you should write about 150 words, 200 words, summarizing what you're planning on doing on this page, which is adding all of your questions, pages that you answer, etc., etc. I'll show you that in another video, but basically it looks a little bit like this. If I go on my home page and I click Redbubble questions here, this is what it looks like. Why are my pictures not loading? Hmm. There seems to be a problem with my website. I'll have to uh, find out what the hell is going on another time, but for some reason the pictures aren't loading. Um, but yeah, it looks like this, and it'll just be all of these questions together, which is really, really nice SEO on its own. And then eventually all of these pages will also be indexed, which is the plan. Okay, so before you do anything else, you should write a little bit of content here. And then what you can do is you can add it to your menu. So if I go on uh, appearance and click on menu, Okay, so once you're on the menu, you'll see most recent here. So we've just added all of these. So this is perfect. I want these all on my home page. Okay, so we just press add to menu here. And as you can see, they've now been added. And if I press save menu now, and then I go on my home page, you'll see them here. This is now on every page, which is really, really cool. I would definitely make this look a little bit better, but there we go. Okay, the final thing that I'm going to do is, as I showed in the video yesterday, which I will leave above now, um, I set up the Rank Math API, so I'm going to try and get all of these pages indexed, even though I highly doubt that Google will index this page without any content, which is why I told you to 
write some content in it. They have indexed some of my pages with little to no content in them. So yeah, I would just submit them, honestly. Don't worry too much about writing content. So let's go back to Rank Math, click on Instant Indexing, like I showed you yesterday, and then just one by one, get your pages like this. There's probably a better way to do this, but there you go. I'll do this quickly. Okay, so that is all the parent pages um, on the instant indexing. And then let's just press send to API. And this should say success here in a, in a moment. Okay, perfect. As you can see now, it says update batch success. So they have been submitted to Search Console. I'll be very curious to see if they get indexed or not. And I'll definitely update you guys on that. Okay, the final thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to write an article very quickly using Jarvis because I need an example to show you the last part of this process, which is adding a child page to a parent page. So let's just grab something like this. Our Red Bull sticker is good for cars. That is such a good keyword. That is such a good keyword. All right, I'm going to type Reddit because I want to. Um, I want to get you know like user generated content i really like i really believe in user generated content so uh, i bought several stickers from there to put on my car and they've held up well for three or four years now and they're pretty reasonably priced as well okay great news so let's first of all copy the keyword which is our red bull stickers good for cars and then i'm just going to go back here i'm going to copy and paste his answer or their answer sorry into the content brief and i'm going to press Control j Jarvis is going to work its magic very quickly for us. Okay, let's press Control again, uh, J again, just to create a bit more content. See what Jarvis comes up with. Okay, I don't actually like this content, so I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to press Control J again and see what it comes up with. Okay, so I changed the process a little bit. First of all, I wrote, yes, they are good for cars because Jarvis was not giving me uh, a positive answer. It was giving me a negative answer for some reason. And then I just did this, and then Jarvis came up with this content before. So, perfect. That is a good enough uh, article for me. So now I'm just going to uh, post it. So all we do is add another new page. Yes, we're adding a lot of new pages in this video, but that's kind of the point of this process. And then I am going to add the keyword as the title, which is this. And then question mark. And then before we hit publish, I'm going to go here. There are a lot more things we could do with rank math. I'm going to make a video about using rank math to optimize each of these articles. But the final thing we need to do is we need to go to page attributes and where it says parent page, we need to select Redbubble questions, which is, I think, unfortunately, because I, I originally had this ridiculously long URL, so I have to save it like that, but that was Redbubble questions. So if I hit publish now, and if I go on view page, it should say income stream surfers slash Redbubble questions slash our Redbubble stickers good for cars. And then the final thing that we have to do is we need to edit the Redbubble parent page, Redbubble questions parent page, to include the article here in, uh, embedded in on this page, basically. Okay, so the embedding on this page is all messed up, I think, because I changed the uh, URLs. But this should work. This one should work. Or not. I just I don't I don't know what the hell is going on with my website. I'm gonna have to look at it. But that's the process, guys. I hope this helps some people rank. Um, definitely make sure that. Oh, what? Why not? Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to re. I need to change this URL one by one, basically, because I changed the URL of the parent page. Okay, I'll see you really soon with some more content. And yeah, peace.